What He Does by Bill German. What do you do? asked the young lady to Jack at the party after the lights went down. I'm a tax man, he replied. Needless to say, romance did not blossom that evening. He's resented that question over the years and has used various conversation-stopping responses. Undertaker, rat catcher, psychiatrist, butcher. In most cases, there was no further meaningful conversation from which he usually concluded that the questioner had no intrinsic interest in the subject matter, but rather was trying to define him by what he did and calibrate further conversation accordingly. Jack always considered the question, especially when asked near the beginning of a conversation, to lack imagination and genuine curiosity, and as intrusive as asking about his bank balance or lack of underarm deodorant. It goes without saying, he did not ask such an impolite question to anyone, particularly when there were much more enterprising ways of finding out the information. So for many years, he's mounted a crusade against these interlocutors, albeit at some personal cost in terms of losing potential dates. Being now retired from the competitive fray, he's more comfortable responding to the question, as in general it does not anymore come from a young woman with possibilities, and there are lower expectations of his achievements. He is as inured as he ever will be to what people think. He is becoming a curmudgeon and doesn't give a damn. What do you do? asked the old lady he'd met recently at the farmer's market. I'm a flaneur, he said. A flaneur? What is that? A flaneur is a stroller, lounger, saunterer, or sometimes loafer, he said. He told her that flannery comes from Paris, where Baudelaire used it initially in the 19th century to describe literary types. A flaneur is a man of leisure, an idler, and a connoisseur of the streets and cafes. The lady at the farmer's market lost interest before he finished his introductory comments. He may as well have said he was a tax man. However, he seems to be more comfortable in his new profession than any previous incarnations, and has set up a chapter at a local coffee house where he and like-minded friends can indulge in flannery. Someone told Jack recently that many people would see a negative connotation to flanners. I would hope so, he responded. <laughs>